Hey, this is Daniel Bemis from Bluegrass EDU. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a game board for your classroom just by using Google Slides. So I want to show you how to start with this blank slide here to have your game board looking like this. Um, so when I'm creating the game board, I have five activities for the students to work on. Also, I throw in uh, different YouTube videos. Um, I throw in a brain break. I throw in um, some place that they can go um, with uh, VR, VR goggles or uh, 360 photos. Um, I also include a YouTube playlist that the students can, you know, watch more videos about. Um, so there's lots of stuff that you can add to these game boards. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. So I got my blank slide right here. The first thing you want to do, you want to go to the shapes tool, go to shapes, and then I'm going to start with a square. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to rush through this because um, this, this video would be like 30 minutes long if, uh, you know, if I was to really, really take my time. Uh, let's see, we want to get about 13 boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay. And then you kind of want to move them around. Get them. I want to get like a starting position. And you want to make it uh, look like the game of life. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other board games that kind of where they just kind of like the board just like moves around, uh, kind of snakes around. You don't want to make it like, well, I guess you could make it like Monopoly if you wanted to. All right. So I just start getting these boxes, start putting them together. Um, and so when you're making these, you kind of want to plan your unit, like what activities you want them to do. Um, you can have a game board for uh, like week one of your unit or like week two, week three. Um, you can have your students, you know, work on that for uh, distance learning. Uh, when I first started doing distance learning, I just had the students work in Google Docs and um, they were reading like PDFs and having to do that. And I decided to mix it up with Google Slides. Um, so I was making like interactive notebooks for them to work on. And then I saw on Twitter someone was doing game boards. And so I was like, that's really cool. And I want to start using that for my class. And I used it for the last two weeks and it went really good. All right. So it's not, like I said, I'm not trying to make it look perfect in here because uh, like, this video would just take forever to do. Um, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do. And what's cool about Google Slides is you can make copies of your presentation. So once you once you get it, like your board set up, like you can make a copy. And so like if I was doing like the 13 colonies or American Revolution, uh, you're just going to make a copy entire presentation. And then I just delete all, like I just, um, you know, change the links, change the pictures. And that way I have a game board for that unit. Um, so let's see, let's scoot that a little bit right there. This could be like a, I don't know, like a picture or something or a video that the students could click on, you know, something just right there. All right. So you also, when you're doing this, you want, you would want to have a start and a finish, uh, for your students. So let's get start to let them know where to begin. You can use whatever font you want to doesn't, you know, whenever you get your theme set up, you can change the font around and the color and all that. All right. So I can turn it just like that. You can, you know, you can mess with the spacing too, if you want to get it in the middle there, but we're just, I'm just trying to just show you the basics and then let you all just work on it, design it however you want to. All right. So we got our first activity, uh, it's going to be Quizlet. So I just copy it, go to my game board, go to the link here. Oh, sorry. Click on the box. Okay. And then you put the link. Oh, no, 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 no. Scratch that. That's if they click, like if you do it on an image, my bad there. All right, let's do this. Number one, vocab practice. So highlight it, 
do the link, hit apply. And so when the students click on, click on that, it's going to take them to their uh, first assignment. And I also like to have uh, like arrows pointing to what assignments they have to, to work on. I think I did like uh, Mickey Mouse hands for, uh, for that. So if you just want to just type in arrow and you can have like arrows that point to what assignments they need to work on. Um, like what's their first assignment, second assignment, third assignment. Let's size it down a little bit. And then you can turn it. Bring it up here. And there you go. You can show them where they're where they need to work on. Uh, if you want to uh, change the color, just go to color fill. And let's just do blue. And then you can do you can change the font too if you want to make it stand out more. Oh, that's highlight. No, it's whatever you want to do. You can change the font, whatever, but I'm just trying to rush through this. That way you all can have time to work on it. Choose another color. Here I can insert an image or a YouTube video, whatever you want to do. Um, so here would be assignment number two. All right, we'll change the color to blue. Uh, and I want the students to work on this document. Okay, uh, so what you're going to do is, you see where it says edit right here, you're going to delete that and you're going to type in copy. Okay, so when the students click on this, it makes a copy for them. Um, the and I learned this recently. I've been using Google a long time and I didn't know how to do this. And so I finally figured it out. Uh, so you had copy and then assignment number two, Boston massacre, Google slides, hit apply. And then when the students click on that, there it is right there. And so they click on it. And it should ask if they want to make a copy. And so they click on that and then they just share that with you. Uh, so that's super easy. Um, let's see, I want to do an Ed Puzzle. If you don't know about Ed Puzzle, it's an awesome website. The students, they can watch videos and they answer questions. So you can either uh, make the, or, or sorry, you uh, download the Chrome extension, you go to YouTube, and um, when you download the extension, the uh, Edpuzzle box will always will be on every YouTube video. And so when you click that, you can uh, make an Edpuzzle. You can add uh, multiple choice questions or open ended questions. Um, so here's one that I just searched. And so you just hit copy. You can go over here. And let's say we're just going to do it on this box right here. And then number three. Boston Massacre Ed Puzzle. And then hit apply. So there's your third assignment right there. Um, and then you can just add, you know, different YouTube videos if you want to, or any images. Uh, on my Civil War one, uh, I had like an image from the, about the Missouri Compromise, uh, Missouri from the Nat Turner Rebellion, couple, I have a Mr. Betts. A video a crash course. So let's say if we wanted to do um, a video right here, and the bot. Let's do a Mr. Betts uh, meme story. So you go to insert video. Uh, you can either copy or paste the link, or you can uh, search it. So I just click on this video right here, hit select, and then I should be able to resize it. Can put it in a box here. Resize a little bit more that way it fits in there. So there you go. And so the students they can watch a video as they're working through the game board. Um, next thing you can do is you can either do a screencast like I'm doing right now to kind of show uh, to tell with the students how they're going to work the game board, or you can do a flip grid. Um, and so flip grid they you can. Uh, so you can do the same thing, like you can screencast, you can show them what to do, and then the students can type their questions or they can uh, record their questions for you. So I'm gonna, uh, I've already already made one, so you just hit copy. And then uh, you can, to make things fast here, I wanna copy this image 
from uh, one of my old game boards. Hit paste. So there it is right there. I'm gonna get rid of this the link from the, the Civil War. And I wanna put uh, this new link right here for them. So just hit the, the link there, paste it and apply. And then there, when the students click on that, um, they can watch the, the video to see how they need to work on that. Okay. Um, so when you're working on this, you can, um, you know, you need to have what the date is, when's it do. Um, you can see there's a Flipgrid video, and kind of like an arrow, and I kind of highlighted it that, hey, you all need to watch this video first. Um, so that's basically, I mean, that's, you know, like I, like I mentioned earlier in this video, this is just like the bare bones, uh, just to kind of show you how to create a game board. So I hope this video helps. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you're on social media, be sure to uh, search us on Facebook. It's Bluegrass EDU. All right. Thank you all so much.